I, I, I'm not here I mean, to discuss political issues with you. Okay. Speak here. So, so, yes, 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 yes. so I think it's important that you pass on the message to your government that what is happening there is not acceptable to the people in Belgium, to the unions, to the workers in, uh, in Belgium. Uh, today you should actually be on strike because there's a strike of the uh, a general strike in Greece, 48 hours. Yeah. And, uh, I think that is what we want you to pass on to your government. It's a pity you can't, you don't want to enter into discussion. I assume there's nobody else. Uh, but uh, it is important that you pass on the message and uh, not hide behind the police. Uh, I think I'm not hiding. <laughs> yeah. Perhaps I'm mistaken. Perhaps I'm hiding. But <laughs> okay. I would like to add that uh, today's small demonstration gives the message to you that it's uh, all the Europeans uh, from many different trade union organizations uh, think that what you're doing, what the Greek government is doing, accepting the proposals of the Troika to dismantle uh, collective bargaining and to dismantle uh, social conquests of, of years and years, social conquests that are there for 100 years, it's really unacceptable. Well, it's a message of solidarity with the Greek people who suffer from the uh, neoliberal policy of uh, Europe and of the capitalist world in, in general. They try to uh, destroy the labor movement, and try to take away uh, social rights to uh, maximize their profits uh, and in fact it's a uh, a way they, they will not solve anything even from the capitalist uh, point of view it is uh, completely idiotic the people of Greece don't recognize this government this is a legal uh, government and we can't accept a government which is illegal to, to take these measures so important because these measures uh, have an, a big attempt to the sovereignty of our country so our message to these deputies that uh, nobody in Greece want them, neither the justice, neither the people. And we tried, if, with every possible try, to, to make the, our voice uh, heard. The solution is, of course, uh, difficult to obtain in Greek alone, but in the whole of Europe, we should have... Uh, a, a completely different system with the social Europe and democratic Europe. That is the, the only way uh, to guarantee minimum wages everywhere, everywhere to decent salaries, to decent health care and so on and so on. And uh, now we have a system that only uh, facilitates the uh, uh, competition between uh, uh, different enterprises uh, and uh, it's a, a, a system where uh, in fact you, you get a downward spiral uh, because if you decrease the wages in one uh, country to be able to uh, have a better competition then uh, the next step is that in another country they will also so it's a race to the bottom and in the end, uh, well, nobody will be able to buy the products even. The European Union is pushing the Greek yes. authorities all the time. What's your yes. message to the European Union? That it's uh, totally surrealistic if they think uh, that um, there will be growth and that all these measures will be um, uh, productive and will bring uh, hope and will bring... Uh, um, something positive. It, 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 this is not possible. It's not possible to have uh, this kind uh, of um, um, of uh, result with uh, this um, practices.